welcome back to Baking with Charlotte. So today we're going to be making Victoria sponge cake. So the ingredients you're going to be needing is 200 grams of self-raising flour, 200 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of butter and four eggs. You'll also be needing some vanilla extract, some icing sugar and some jam. So the equipment you're going to need is some weighing scales, a wooden spoon, a big mixing bowl, um, two cake tins that are lined, and a wire cooling rack. The first thing we're going to do is um, weigh out our self-raising flour, caster sugar, our four eggs and our butter and put it all into the mixing bowl. So once all of those ingredients are in, we're going to add a small bit of vanilla extract, just that's, that's enough. And then we're going to mix everything together until it's combined and the mixture is smooth. So the cake mixture is all mixed now and I've also separated it into the two tins and it's about to go in the oven. So the cakes are now out the oven and are fully cooled. They were in the oven on 180 degrees for around 20 to 25 minutes, but now we're going to start filling it. Okay, so I just put some butter into the bowl. Um, I never really measure how much you need for icing. But now we're going to put in some icing sugar um, until it's sweet enough. Okay, so the icing is now done. I've um, made this much. So this is gonna go inside and a little bit on top. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so the first part of this we're going to do is we're going to get some jam and then we're gonna put it on one half. Okay, so I've spread the jam all over one side and I've also cut up some strawberries to put in the middle. So I'm going to do that as okay, well. So I've put strawberries and jam on one side and now we're going to put the buttercream on the other side, but we're not going to use all of it because we need some from top. Okay, so I've put the buttercream on now and then we're going to put the two together. Okay, so I've put the two halves together now and because it's St. George's Day, we're going to decorate it in a cross. I'm going to do a thin layer of buttercream. Okay, so I've done the buttercream now, and then I'm going to use the strawberries to make a drop. Okay, we've now finished our Victoria sponge cake for St George's Day. I really hope you enjoyed making this and have fun eating it. Bye!